I've set a goal for myself at 45, and like I said before, it's very hard to make it that far. I was pretty disappointed, it was a tough loss, but I've been a part of those winning teams, and I think when you lose, you just gotta understand that comes with it. It's, uh, you know, it really is. It's a competitive sport, no one knows the outcome, and mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a, it ended up being a great game. Joel, I remember when we spoke for the first time, you said, Tom, I just want to win. I just want to win. And um, it takes a lot to do that, you know? It's not the snap of the fingers. It's, it takes a lot of work by a lot of people, and everyone's obviously in this room tonight, and we came through. And um, we set a standard for ourselves. Uh, we set a standard for the organization about what winning takes. And, uh, you know, it's every day you got to show up and do your job the best you possibly can. So I appreciate everybody. You know, I just been so lucky to be a part of this organization for a long time and we've had so many great teams and this is all about a team goal this is not you know an individual thing this is every year establishing you know uh, and really earning the right to get to this point it's not easy everyone every team starts at the bottom I didn't have an easy experience I didn't have come in as a top rated recruit I didn't come in with the opportunity to play right away I had to earn it and you know what the greatest honor I've ever received as a player is? In my fourth year and my fifth year, I was named team captain. That, to this day, is the single greatest achievement I've ever had as a football player. Well, it's around two seconds. We try to get rid of the ball pretty quick. And I think you got to design, it's such a game of chess out there. You got to design plays, you know, if you're reading the defense and when the ball's in my hands, I got to, you know, pick a guy out and, and let it fly. You know, I think about 21 years, you know, I played in the NFL and 20 years going to last year, I was a free agent and I didn't know what my career was going to be. You know, a lot of you guys see me and a lot of you guys were young when, you know, I got drafted. I was a sixth round pick, you know, I was 199th pick. I never forgot that. I still haven't forgot that to this day. You know, the commitment starts, you know, at the beginning of the, the off season and guys, you know, they work hard and put in all the work in to start have a good training camp and then you have a good training camp rolls into September you know it doesn't always go perfect as we've seen this year with our team but you just you keep putting the work in you keep focusing on what the team goals are I was at one organization and I learned a lot and when I had the opportunity to choose another place it was the first time I really got to choose you know Devin you didn't get to choose Levante you didn't choose Mike you didn't choose you know you got picked I got a chance to choose and you know everyone always says why the Bucks man why do you choose the Bucks and it was a no-brainer who wouldn't want to play with Mike and Chris and Scotty because the men in this room chose me to lead their team and these were my best friends these were the guys that that knew that I'd like to work, that knew that I love football, that knew that I love to play, that knew that I wanted to be the quarterback for Michigan. And then ultimately, you know, you get a chance to make the playoffs and then you gotta, you gotta beat the best teams. And, and, you know, to beat San Diego like we did, it's a great win against a great team. And then to go to Arrowhead and win there against another great team speaks a lot about our character, speaks about the way that we've improved over the course of the season. And, you know, we got one more game to go and hopefully we can finish it the right way. I have a lot of perspective on where I was at at one point in my life, you know, and that not a lot of teams ever thought I could do anything for them. You know, not a lot of teams ever believed in what I thought I could accomplish for that team. You know, 